A human need for a smartphone gimbal? I love this thing to bits. <laughs> Hello guys, today we are looking at the Xeon Z1 Smooth C. Let's take a closer look. And it's just incredible, you guys will find out a lot more about it. Gimbals of the future guys, let's take a closer look. This gimbal is really, really professional. It uses something called the Honeycomb 3.0 system, which is better than optical stabilisation, and it reaches an expert level shooting. When you're out in the field with this, when you're using it, it's such a great thing just having your bag as a tool to expert yourself as a filmmaker. It's really, really reliable. It's independent updated motors. There's three motors in this thing to control the free axis, and there's a ton of motor torque, so it's going to keep your phone very, very stable. The Xeon Z1 is meant for phones up to 6.5 inches, which is insane. So you can fit like an iPhone 7 Plus in this, or anything, it'll work absolutely fine. That's what I love about this, it's so universal. This thing's really, really light and tiny. I can chuck this in a normal backpack where I'd normally have like this camera and a monopod. I can chuck this in as well, it doesn't take up that much space. It is a professional free axis stabilization in here, so that controls the pan, the tilt, and the roll axis, so you've got everything covered with this. It is a five direction joystick, so you can pan around whilst you're filming, which is great. It basically looks like a tripod, it's that smooth. You guys can see it from the sample footage. You can pan 320 degrees in each direction. I know it's not 360 degrees, but trust me, when you're shooting this thing, 320 degrees is more than enough. I've probably never turned more than probably about 200 degrees while shooting because you're just not going to turn the full circle or most of the circle as this does it will fit you fine, trust me nobody needs that full 320 degrees but it's there if you need it right so my favourite way of shooting with this gimbal is upside down I know it's very worrying a couple of you but if you just pull the gimbal going up you can shoot upside down, it gives a really really cinematic feel to your footage like you're actually down on the ground and the motors still pick up when you're down that low it's really, really simple to use. Like, I gave it to my friend Tom, who's helping me film this episode. Massive thank you, Tom, for your help. And he just put his phone in, it auto balances itself. That's what I love about this. You don't need to rebalance it before. Put your phone in, hold the joystick in, it will balance itself. I know that some heavy gimbal users won't believe what I just said about itself balancing, but let's just do a quick test. I'm powering it on here, and then, okay, my phone isn't clearly balanced. Hold the joystick in, and boom. This thing is balanced. It's that simple. And as soon as he picked it up, he was like, oh, it, it works, I don't need to do anything else. And that's what this gimbal's made for. Just the people who just want to pick it up and get a couple really, really smooth shots. There's three modes. There's a pan mode, which follows the way you turn the base. There's the lock pan, which keeps the horizon, basically, and will lock onto that as you move it around, which I've actually spent most of the time with the gimbal in that mode. I just find it easier to manually control the joystick. But Tom preferred where it followed you when you twisted the handle. And there's also a pan and tilt following mode. I haven't really used it this much because that's not my personal way of shooting. But it's really, really cool. So for instance, somebody's following you about, like I'm actually doing a setup tour, which we're going to be using this gimbal with. And somebody can just follow me around whilst I build my setup. That's coming hopefully in May for this channel. And there's also a tripod mount on the bottom of this gimbal. In case you want to mount it to a tripod, or I mount this to a very, very small tripod just for storage. It makes it easier standing upright than just being flat. And that's my review of the Xeon Z1. So guys, I'll drop a link down below in the description if you'd like to go and check this out. It's an incredible gimbal, and this has really changed my opinion on gimbals. I'm currently looking at a gimbal for the Lumix G7 here, because Xeon have really, really got it covered right now. What they're doing is magical. Like, it's better than the DJI Osmo. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like rating and find out more about the Xeon Z1, the holy grail of the gimbals, in the description down below. My favourite ever piece of tech I've looked at. And it's great for the price, really, if you want to take some more stable smartphone video. So you guys, have a great night, and I'll see you on Friday with a new video. Yeah, uh, just check it out in the description. You'll be mind-blown by the price. Bye, guys. <laughs>